Welcome to Centres for Health. My name is Jill Tree. I'm proud to say I'm the founder and owner of the company. And I'm delighted to invite you to come and learn how to massage your friends and family in just one day. Massage has many, many benefits, but most people have a massage for the stress relieving qualities. I actually call it the antidote to stress, and it will help reduce your heart rate, reduce uh, your blood pressure, slow down your breathing, improve your immunity and your digestion, and relieve all that tension and tightness that you feel in your muscles. When you massage, you're unlikely to have a massage couch. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to massage on the floor, but just for the video, we're going to be using a couch so that you can see really clearly what I'm doing. When you start your massage, it's really important that you set the scene. Make sure the room is nice and warm and you have lots of fluffy uh, towels to cover over your, your friend or family member. And maybe have some nice, soft, gentle music playing just to get the ambience. When we massage with Swedish Massage, which is what I'm going to be showing you today, we use oils and that's to avoid any frictions or pressures um, from burning the skin. And any sort of oil like a vegetable oil from your health food shop, it could be sunflower, it could be grape seed, it could be almond, any of those are going to be really, really good for their skin and feed their skin with nutrients. Make sure they're lying comfortably, covered over with towels, and then you can start your massage and we usually start with a leg or back massage. There are certain conditions in the body that aren't safe to massage and they're known as contraindications. The golden rule for massage is if in doubt, don't. Just leave it out or massage another body part. I'm going to put up a list now of the contraindications that you should avoid. So welcome to the e-learning course this time for the foot massage and if you've got ticklish feet just make sure that the person who massages you really really firmly but I think you're going to find this is the most relaxing massage you've ever had. So we're going to start off just being at the end of the couch and sitting down on a chair to massage Curly's feet. So I'm just going to uncover one foot with uh, taking this towel off here and just uh, making sure she's nice and comfortable. You might notice that I've got a rolled up towel just under her knees to make sure that her back is nicely supported. So with the foot there are some contraindications and particularly anything infectious like athlete's foot or a verruca you'd avoid uh, massaging the foot or certainly covering over the verruca with the plaster. Some people don't like the idea of having oil on their foot, although you can use oil, absolutely, but if you prefer, uh, talcum powder or cornflour is also a good choice. I'm going to put a little drop of oil on to just make sure my massage is nice and flowy. Just pouring a little bit into the palm of my hand and stroking it on. And we want it on the top of the foot and all the way down the sole of the foot here as well and into the toes. Just a nice little sheen of oil. So we're going to start with an effleurage uh, for the foot and we're going to work on the inside instep here, the arch of the foot, uh, known as the spine actually in reflexology. And we're going to do this by sandwiching the foot between our two hands so the fingers are pointing the same direction up towards Carolee's head and we're just going to take that firmly with our thumbs down that inside instep, gliding around and coming back. The fingers are just there guiding and supporting. Right, this technique we're going to be doing on the sole of the foot and it looks quite uh, brutal in a way but it actually feels really really nice. You think your feet are carrying you around all day long however many stone you weigh. So we're using what I call the blade of the knuckle, this sharp part of the knuckle here and supporting the top of the foot with one hand, we're going to push into the sole of the foot with the blade of the knuckle really quite firmly there and corkscrew it around. This technique is called the corkscrew. And we literally do corkscrew that around the foot and release. Corkscrew around the foot and release. Now you might find there are some sensitive spots on the foot, particularly in the center here. So do just go in very cautiously uh, get some feedback. It's always better to increase your pressure gradually rather than go in too firmly and get the person flinching with pain. So Carolee, were you okay then? Yeah, lovely. Okay, so repeating that corkscrewing technique all over the sole of the foot, nice and slow and with control.
So now we're effleurizing the top of the foot and it's very, very similar to the inside instep. So again, sandwiching the hands, either side of the foot, the thumbs are doing all the work to sweep up the top of the foot and around and down. Very, very simple, nice and slow. It makes it really, really relaxing. And from there, what we can do is we can trace the tendons of the toes. So I'm going to pull the toes down towards me and just following the gaps between the toes, I'm going to trace the gaps between the muscle tendons just with the edge of my thumb. And you can go forwards and backwards on that and just do it really as many times as you want to. Again, just thinking about the more repetitions, the slower it is, the more relaxing it will be. And then from there, very simple, we're going to just squeeze each toe and gently pull. Just squeezing in a couple of places, two or three places, just very gently pull. So from there we're going to go on to fist stroking, which is pretty much what it says on the tin. So we use the flat of our fist here, get it in direct contact with the sole of the foot. The other hand is supporting and you just stroke that fist down the sole of the foot. You might get a little reflex action there where the toes start to curl a little bit and that's quite normal. I'm just taking that down because your top hand stays in contact it's absolutely fine to take this bottom hand off ready to repeat. So now we can perform deep slow circular pressures into the sole of the foot. The circles are really quite static very focused and concentrated and deep. The fingers are just on the top of the foot supporting and uh, my right thumb is circling in clockwise, my left in an anti-clockwise direction. I am actually leaning in with a little bit of body weight just to get that depth. And you can just move around the whole of the sole of the foot, incredibly relaxing. Again, it could be a little bit painful, somebody might have a sensitive spot might be something related to a reflexology point. So just be a little bit careful. Go in slowly. Start to read the foot, see if they flinch or twitch before you increase the depth. And you can do that all over the sole. Nice and slow and deep really focusing your attention on what you're doing. Well, we've done that deep work, uh, like the circular pressures, we just need to soothe the area. So I'm just going to use a little gentle fist stroking this time, just to soothe down the sole of the foot. So to finish and to say goodbye, as always, we effleurage, same as we did before, sandwiching the sides of the foot with the fingers and supporting with the fingers and the thumbs circle around the top of the foot. And you can just work with your very fingertips around the joint of the ankle, soothing, stroking in circular motion with your fingertips around that ankle joint. And then to finish, we 
can just cover the foot over with the tail before we go on to the other foot and then just sandwich that foot between your hands. So now we've come to the end of this free trial of the Essentials for Health e-learning course, Learn to Massage in One Day. We hope you're inspired to want to learn more and to sign up to learn to massage the rest of the body. Here come the details now.